Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and I'm going to show you how you can do vertical gardening, protecting your plants, staking up tomatoes and cucumbers and watermelon for pennies. It's not going to cost you much. I want you to see the tote that I've done here first, because we're going to go on my deck in a smaller version to show you how I'm doing all my containers now. So here we are on my deck where I grow also, and it's very sunny. This is why this product I'm using, the irrigation tubing, is going to be a life changer. I'm going to be able to put stakes in place. We'll see how it's done. I'll show you in a second. We're going to be able to shade from the blazing sun to save our plants, even in the summer. We can cover it with tulle, a simple drape, and you can put it on with clips or clothespins. You can use multiple types of sticks with this. If you don't want to invest in tomato sticks or you can't afford it, you can use tree branches and I'm even using skewers that you can get at the 99 cent store sometimes, a whole package, just tape two together and you can make it any height you want. I put a little bit of painter's tape on the top so see it won't tear from the tool and then I tape two together. Painter's tape will last you all year out in the garden. It's waterproof, I use it everywhere. And fabric, fabric can change your plants. So what this is, is it's half inch irrigation tubing. It's cheap, you can buy it in a 25 foot roll, 10 foot roll, I buy it in 500 feet. I paid $42 the other day. The price goes up and down, check it. But see it's half inch. You can even put a nice thick tomato steak in, or you can use thinner ones as I'm using here. It will be good for both sizes. Plus, like I said, branches from trees, anything you want to put in there. And there's going to be a whole lot more as we go on to the season, how I'm using this. Let's get into exactly how I set this up because I think you're going to be amazed and I think it's going to be your favorite item too in the garden. So I'm going to show you here how I make holders for sticks, tomato sticks or anything. You want a hot soldering iron to make holes in your plastic container. Now you can unplug it and walk around with it for a little while, it's hot enough. You need two holes, one on each corner. You wanna make sure that if you've got soil in there already that you dig a hole and then slip your tubing as far down as you want. Now you can put the zip tie on the inside or the outside, it's up to you, but I'm gonna zip it from the inside so it won't get caught on you know, the excess that's out there, the little knot. So now you just tighten it up, that's all you have to do. Just Pull it, get it nice and tight, and that is all there is to it. Now you've got a holder for whatever you want to set up. And then once you're done, you can backfill your holes if you've already had soil in it. And now this will hold a tomato steak or any stick you've got, maybe some branches from your tree. It's perfect to drape tool over or anything you want to do or even to stake up a plant that's growing. Isn't that cool? It costs you pennies. Now here I'm demonstrating the one I did in an empty container. So here, the first thing you're gonna to have to do is make sure there's holes in each corner of your container. And you're gonna want two because you're gonna bring the zip tie in. By the way, you could use wire if you want, whatever you wanna use, but I use zip ties, it's just quicker. And you could put more than one if you want. Here I'm just putting one, because you're gonna always just pop in another one if something happens to it. But you can put two or three if you want. So you make your holes on each corner and then you'll be able to put your tubing in. Keep in mind, you can do this in a bucket, a tote, a flower pot, anything that you're growing in. You can do exactly what you see here. But here I'm gonna put four irrigation tubing pipe. So one in each corner, I need a total of four. And oh, they're about five inches. What I wanna do is bring the pipe above my container. It's good if you can bring it all the way to the bottom and then just above because you don't want it to fill with soil as you're watering and your plants and stuff. You want that to stay as soil free as possible so it holds your stake in there good. If some soil gets in there, it's not gonna be any big deal. Now here I'm gonna show you in the back, I'm using a yellow zip tie. Now you can get those zip ties in different sizes. I have found now using them for quite a few years, I prefer the thicker ones and longer ones. They're just easier to handle. When they're real tiny and you're trying to fiddle with it and zip tie them, you end up with trying to fight with this little tiny zip tie. But when you have a big zip tie, it's much easier to use. And I think they do last a lot longer because they're 
Well, they're about three times the size and they really only cost about a half a cent more if that. And now all you do is put one pipe in each corner and I prefer to zip tie it on the inside, but it won't matter. It's just that if it was on the outside, if I was walking by, I might get caught on it or it will be sticking out. See how clean it looks when it's done on the inside. Now to make a cross beam, all you have to do is cut some pieces and fold it. That's all you have to do. It's that easy. Now you can, of course, make the dome, the archway, but here I'm folding it because I'm going to insert a piece of branch from a fig tree. That's gonna give me a nice top that I can drape something on. See, I just broke it to the size I needed, and that branch, which was nice and straight, I found, will slip right in there, and it will give me another construction to the tomato steaks. It, you have to form it the way you want, but it's literally so easy. There is literally a hundred ways we can use this, but as the gardening season comes in, you're gonna see more and more ways I am using it. You can hoop it, you can do all kinds of things with it, and it is just phenomenal how we're gonna be able to get our gardens to grow, and it's gonna cost us next to nothing. And we're gonna have so much fun and so much food. Yes, I have taken an item that is not used for this, but it is so cheap and it's gonna work perfect and I want to pass my ideas on to you. Without that tubing, the tomato steaks just don't have any support and they rock and come loose. Here you can see I used a garden flag. It wasn't quite long enough to go across, so I just stapled on a little bit of fabric and now I just put it on with a clip and I can take that off at any time if I feel the plants need more sunlight. Here, the same thing. I just simply, let me show you on this side, just wrapped it around. Look at this. Just simply wrapped around and it's being held on with a tomato stake by a few little paper fasteners, the metal fasteners. Look at how nice that is. You can set it up any way you want. The whole idea is get your tubes in there and anchor them up. I hope I've given you some ideas on how to make your gardening life easier and better and cheaper so we all garden together and grow some of our own food. So I hope you are going to get just as excited over this tubing as I am because let me tell you something, this is going to change your life if you're a new gardener, an old gardener, old gardening for a long time, not old, but someone that's been gardening for a while, I think this is going to be a big change because of so many ways you can set this up. We haven't even started to get into how many ways to set this up. So you keep watching and you're going to see this all over the place because this is going to be a lifesaver for me to grow food for me and my family this easy and be able to have each container set up as needed to keep my plants alive. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And think about some tubing. Start with a small roll and work your way up. Half inch irrigation tubing. Bye-bye. So I hope you are as excited about this tubing as I am. I think once you try it and you start putting it together like a puzzle, It's not a puzzle. We can Lincoln logs. No, I don't know what it is.